A pleasant morning to our research advisor, Mrs. Juliet P. Rilieta, to the panelists, Dr. Fritzi D. Diop, and Dr. Maria Corazon R. Tatad, and to our chairperson, Dr. Maria Elena S. Mandin. I am Nestle B. Canedo, and I would like to greet you all a good Wednesday morning. We are the Group 2, and we will be presenting our short PowerPoint presentation for our research proposal entitled Mother Tongue Reading Comprehension and Academic Performance in the Modular Distance Learning. Together with my group mates, Mr. Jane Faith G. Bakyal, Ms. Hazel P. Koyakot, and Ms. George B. Mabolok. At this point, let me discuss the rationale and the theoretical and a conceptual framework. Mother tongue was regarded as the first language known by the child. This highlighted the fact that applying mother tongue as the medium of instruction is essential to develop the literacy skills of the students effectively. In this sense, utilizing mother tongue as a reading instruction enables students to easily learn reading at an early age. The complexity of the reading process marks the crucial role of teachers in developing the mother tongue reading comprehension of students. However, due to the public health risk brought about by the COVID-19, DepEd implemented the modular distance learning. The lack of interaction between the teacher and students in the reading process may affect the development of reading comprehension of students. On the other hand, limited guidance from others motivates the students to acquire sense of responsibility in the reading progress. With this concern, the researchers are challenged and inspired to conduct this study to determine the level of pupils' reading comprehension in the mother tongue instruction and their academic performance in the modular distance learning. The findings of the study will serve as the basis for enhancement of mother tongue instruction in the modular distance learning. And now, let us move on to the theoretical and conceptual framework. We have two theories and two legal bases to support our study. The term schema was firstly used by philosopher Immanuel Kant with the definition, the product of the transcendental imagination. Later on, Frederick Bartlett, a psychologist, developed the concept of schema as an active organization which controlled the past reactions or past experience. As mentioned by Bartlett 1932 in his schema theory, comprehending a text is an interactive process between the reader's background knowledge and the text. This stresses the fact that effective comprehension requires the ability to relate the text to the reader's own knowledge. The next theory, the self-efficacy theory. Albert Bandora in his self-efficacy theory asserts that Children's belief in their efficacy to reg regulate their own learning activities and to master difficult subject matters affect their academic motivation, interest, and scholastic achievement. Next, we have the legal basis. The first one, the Republic Act Number no. 10533, an act enhancing the Philippine basic education system by strengthening its curriculum and increasing the number of years for basic education, appropriating funds, therefore, and for other purposes, and the enclosure number no. 1 to DepEd number no. 32 series of 2020, guidelines on the engagement of services of learning support aids to reinforce the implementation of the basic education learning continuity plan in the time of COVID-19 pandemic. That is all for my assigned part. Thank you for listening. At this moment, let me call on my co-student researcher, Ms. Hazel P. Koyakot, to discuss the statement of the problem. Thank you, Ms. Canedo, for presenting the rationale and the theoretical and conceptual framework of our study. And now, let us proceed with the statement of the problem. The main goal of the study is to determine the pupil's level of reading comprehension using the mother tongue instruction under level of academic performance in MTB MLE in the modular distance learning. Specifically, this study aims to answer the following questions. First, 
What is the pupil's level of mother tongue reading comprehension in these following components? Namely, listening comprehension, letter sound knowledge, alphabet knowledge, phonemic awareness, familiar word reading, non-word reading, and oral reading passage. Second, what is the pupil's level of academic performance in MTB MLE? Third, is there a significant relationship between the pupil's level of reading comprehension using mother tongue instruction and their level of academic performance in MTB MLE in the modular distance learning? And lastly, what action plan shall be proposed based on the results of the study? And we came up with this null hypothesis that there is no significant relationship between the level of reading comprehension using mother tongue instruction and the level of academic performance in MTB MLE in the modular distance learning. And now, that is all about my assigned part. For the discussion of the research methodology, I will now give the floor to Ms. Georgie B. Mabolo. Thank you, Ms. Kuyakot, for presenting the statement of the problem. And now, let's proceed to the research methodology. The research methodology is composed of six parts. First is the design. The researcher will employ the correlational method for the pupil's mother tongue reading comprehension and academic performance in the conduct of the study. In order to determine the relationship of mother tongue reading comprehension to the academic performance and MTB MLE, in the modular distance learning, we will gather the early grade reading assessment or EGRA post-test results. Next is the environment. The researcher will conduct the study at Kalangaman Elementary School, one of the schools in Ubay, Bohol. Then the participants. The participants of our study will be the pupils from grade 1 in Kalangaman Elementary School enrolled in the school year 2020-2021. There are two sections in grade 1 that compose of 39 pupils. For the instrument, the main tool to determine the pupil's level of MTB reading comprehension is the early grade reading assessment or EGRA post-test results from grade 1 pupils. Then the procedure. The preliminary activity will be the researcher's will send letters to ask permission from the college dean and campus director for the conduct of the study. The letters will be also sent by the researchers to the principal of Kalangaman Elementary School and to the class advisors of grade 1. In the actual activity, with a given permission from the authorities concerned, the researcher will go to the respective grade 1 advisors and gather the EGRA results and academic performance in MTB MLE of pupils in the modular distance learning. In the post activity, after collecting the data, the researcher will tally, tabulate, and analyze the EGRA results and academic performance of pupils to formulate the findings of conclusions and recommendations of the study. Thank you for listening and that is all my assigned part. At this juncture, I would like to call on my co-student researcher, Ms. Regine Faith Bakyal, to discuss the statistical treatment and definition of terms. Thank you, Ms. Mabolo. At this moment, I will now discuss the statistical treatment of our study. Statistical treatment, to compute the mean scores of the pupils from each component, the formula for the mean will be used. To determine the level of reading comprehension, a Likert scale will be utilized. To identify the significant relationship between the mother tongue comprehension and academic performance in MTB MLE, the Spearman rank order coefficient correlation will be used. And now, let us move on to definition of terms. Academic performance, it determines the knowledge, skills, and how will students perform in a particular subject. Next, comprehension. It enables students to make meaning out of what they read and use the meaning to learn new things, especially other academic content. Fluency, it is a higher order skills that provides the ability to read text quickly accurately, 
and with proper expression. Modular distance learning. One of the type of distance learning that utilizes printed modules from the most essential learning competencies provided by the DeepEd that allows self-learning for students. Mother tongue. The first language learned by the child since birth and is the, the most familiar language to use as their means of communication. Phonemic awareness. It is the awareness of phonemes, which are the smallest units of sound that distinguish the meaning of a word and given language. Phonics. This accounts for the children's ability to detect, manipulate, or analyze the auditory aspects of spoken language. Reading comprehension. It is the student's overall ability to read, analyze, and understand the text they have read. Vocabulary. It defines the set of familiar words and phrases within the language that the students used and understood. And finally, here are the references of our study. That would be all for my assigned part. Thank you, Ms. Bakyal. And that is the end of our PowerPoint discussion. Thank you so much for listening. We are now ready to accept your suggestions, corrections, and recommendations.